Hello, I'm Arinda Bueta, your educational psychologist. Reflection is something we do naturally at the end of one year or at the beginning of a new year. It enables us to acknowledge and honor what we've been through, to celebrate our successes and to learn from our mistakes, to plan what we want to achieve or do differently and to take lessons in and make them part of us. To hold some space and time to integrate it into our view of life. To consciously make time to reflect on your parenting gives you the opportunity to move further than just lying in bed and feeling guilty about everything you think you should have done. It gives you time to see the bigger picture and to think about what you want to achieve, what you want to teach your kids and what you want to do with them, the experiences you want to give them the example you want to see and to also realize and appreciate what you've done right so far. And this journey has parenting goals and you will achieve more than you failed. Reflection is one of the secrets of parenting success, especially because it's not always easy to be the one who sets the course. If we want to know how to do it, we have to know what we want to reach or achieve. Staying the course also entails that you are sometimes seen as the bad guy. And when you know why you are doing something or not allowing something, you make peace with the idea of being seen as the bad guy. This is exactly why conscious reflecting and goal setting about parenting should be something you prioritize. Some aspects of this you can share with your family. You can reflect together about family life, and set some goals of things that you want to do more or less this year. Older children will start to understand some decisions in the family better and they will feel a great sense of belonging when you include them in this process. Mistakes can be a valuable learning tool if we learn from them and this is something I aim to teach my kids with family reflections. This also helps me personally to not forget the things that I do right. It's easy to only focus on your so-called failures and um, celebrating the successes just makes me happier. Like I've often said, our kids don't need perfect parents. They just need happy ones. Good luck, moms and dads. You can do this.